another week, another video. Today, I will be preparing some rib stew. Consists of tomato paste, onions, four ounces of onions, four ounces of carrot, diced carrot, four ounces of celery, sprig of thyme, and some pre boiled ribs, also a baked potato. Today, I want to take a step back and thank all of my video fans for taking the time to subscribe to my channel. I appreciate that. Now, I would start in preparation of preparing the soup. First, I'll have to clean and dice these vegetables. These I could do beforehand, but today I decided to spend a little more time doing it on the video. So just bear with me. And watch my video. First of all, I'm cleaning the potatoes. So the carrot. Next step would be to dice. Start with the potato. Now the next step would be diced carrot. You just have to take your time and dice everything according, according. Be careful not to slice them fingers. You're not taking the fingers there. That is the celery.
Anytime you look in the kitchen house, make sure you the right, the right tools. Got a better performance. The last but not least. Onions. Just move right along. And start it. Now we would have to start the stove moving. Take a tablespoon of cooking oil. And we start the, the onions. Celeries, carrots, what we're going to do now is we'll be sweating these vegetables, not to let it burn or brown. Let these stretch for about two minutes. Quality stone is not separate. Okay, I'm going to add tomato paste. We add the beef broth. 
to prevent us from burning or browning. At this stage we can add the potatoes. So add half tablespoon of crushed garlic. Another half tablespoon of ghost pepper. It's going to be a little spicy. Not, if you don't like spice, then you can use less. This is what it looked like so far. or the beef. This is two liter. We would add the pre boiled ribs. When you pre boil the ribs, there's something you have to do. You have to skim the base from the top of the ribs. In other words, you have to use a serving spoon. You take your time and just remove the base from the top. Because when you boil it all up, the base will float at the top of the pot. We're going to let this boil for about an hour. And after this finish boiling, before you remove it, you need to taste it and make some adjustment with the seasoning. The beef base should have normally a salt. So I didn't put any salt in the recipe. But when you put all those ingredients together, then you would have to make an adjustment. If you have to add salt, go ahead and add it to your liking. So we let this cook for about an hour, and we'll be back. Okay, yes, I'm back. This is the completion of making the ribs stew. As you can see, I don't know if you can see well, but you can see a lot of fat has come to the top of this. I will just show you a way that we can take that off. And also, the soup is too watery, the stew is too watery. So 
Do I make an adjustment by adding a room which would be made of flour and butter? So first of all, I would take the skim the fat off the top by using a spoon. I take my time and just skim the fat. Now oh, this is just about it. This is what I took off. Now what I do now is mix a tablespoon of flour, one and a half tablespoon of but of butter. Mix that together. Should be in a horrible form at this fashion, so Cook this for a while and then that come together. And you can adjust the seasoning. So if this Really was any interest to you. We, we, we would appreciate it if you would comment on the video, subscribe, and like. My next video would be released on January 7th at 4.15 p.m. And that video is another of my creation. I would prepare and make a Pea soup and stuffed dumplings. The Hammonds love pea soup. We eat it all the time, but they never had it with dumplings being stuffed. And that's what I'll be doing. So stay tuned and watch for our next video. Thank you and enjoy.